Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today... Ooh, what are we going to do? We're going to meet at the tunnel. Oh yeah, we're going to go and install monster whistles in the Sandrock tunnel to Porsche. Yes, that's what we're going to do and probably have to beat up... I'm thinking we might have to beat up that worm. We also have uh, some limestone bricks to either make or pick up or whatever. There's no production happening right now. Hmm. I need to make a wooden guitar. I need to make seven limestone bricks. I need to make a whole bunch of uh, petrified wooden boards. I don't think I need to make all seven though. No, I already have eight, so I don't need that or the canvas. Okay. While we're in here, let's have a look at the recycling. Uh, let's turn those labels off. So, uh, add to queue. Everything. Probably we'll have to do a little bit of a... Uh, Another inventory sort out soon, I think. Inventory starting to look a little bit messy again, as always. Still haven't found where I get nano waste, unless that is uh, found around the northern starship ruins. It might be. Or maybe there's maybe there's a dungeon I haven't been in yet. You never know. I thought I'd opened all of them, but there could still be more. I don't know. I haven't played the game through fully yet. Okay. Let's have a quick look inside the greenhouse, see if there's anything to grab in there. I'll have a little look and see if my inventory is at least good enough. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some jute cantaloupes ready to ready to roll here. try and run my greenhouse down a little bit now uh, because I've got a feeling that my yard is going to expand pretty soon so what I'm going to want to do is let everything ripen um, then pull it all up and play around with it and stuff I don't know if I can hang on a second I want to check move things about yes I can so in theory I can still move the tree around using the house kit so I should be able once the tree is growing inside here I should be able to move it where I want to but probably the best thing for me the easiest thing for me would be to sort of just um, expand everything and then play around with the bio crust people are saying that um, maybe the stairs can sometimes interfere with things as well and that's fine as long as it doesn't get my two... I've got two trees growing there. And if it doesn't get those two, I'm happy. And if it does, well, I'll just regrow them. It's fine. I have, throughout the game, gathered enough tea and coffee and chestnuts to probably last me the rest of the game. So it's not going to be the end of the world if the trees get a bit ruined. Okay, so... Uh, what I need to do at some point, very soon, is to get um, a pet management chip. Get all the other management chips for Rosie. So that Rosie can do more. Because one thing that I want Rosie to do is to pet these guys every day for me. Because uh, that's what she used to do. She did. And she doesn't do it anymore because I don't have the right chip. So I need to go find it. It'll either be in the game centre or at Rocky's place. So maybe I'll pull the sand wall down and have a quick look for a chip for Rosie before I go off on my adventures. I'm just going to see what which ones are available from the salvage company first. I doubt they'll be super expensive. Okay. Let's 
So we have a... Labels work on a workshop assistant chip. We already have that. A planting chip, which we already have, I think, and a harvesting chip. No, we don't have planting and harvesting. Planting and harvesting. And then the game center has a few as well, it was saying. When I was looking at it. So let's get uh chestnut over here. Chestnut! And ride over to the game center and have a little look at what we've got there. Because what I'm wanting is some kind of like pet management chip. Oh. Really? This train is causing trouble lately. I think I'm going to call you Blaine the Train. I'm going to have to confuse you with riddles. Okay. So <laughs> Anyone getting that reference uh, reads slightly different books to the tone of Sandrock. Although, I don't know. I think Sandrock sometimes does have slightly horror tones. Oh, I did it the other way around this time. I went to the clinic when I wanted to go to the game centre. Normally, I go to the game centre when I want to go to the clinic. Hey you, I've heard a lot from you lately. You're the one who made a difference in this desert city. Many people around just want to know more about your exciting journey in Sandrock. They often check the Steam review. Post here will tell your story and offer tips and strategies. Weave legends into a my time world. Well, I mean, the, the thing with that is, <laughs> people can see if they want what I'm doing in this game. Hmm. Little known facts, there are actually a decent number of mutant animals coexisting peacefully in the free cities. I hear in Porsche, for example, has a giant bear that's sweet as a button. Hopefully one day all of them come around. Oh yeah, I wonder whether um, Papa Bear was originally a Giggle mutation. That has made me think. Probably was. Hmm. You could count on you. You and Mian are the real deal. Thank you for the money. Right, let's have a look here. Um, we have a party management chip. And that is all. Oh no, and a sand cleaning chip. Alright, well I'll buy those. And we'll give all of these to Rosie. But that was not the ones I was hoping for. I was hoping for like a pet management one. Maybe that's one I have to find in a ruin somewhere. But let's give these to Rosie anyway. And then I can see which ones I'm missing. Because I'm sure it was saying there's more than that. Oh, we've got post as well. Well, actually, that's the point. Where is Rosie today? Not seeing you. Hello. And chips. Unlock the sand cleaner. Planting. Harvesting. Watering is from the shipwreck ruins. Weather forecasting is from the mysterious man. Oh, pet management. management clean up sand plant crops harvest crops water crops check the weather manage mounts manage pets and manage parties so there's nothing to look after my animals absolutely sucks. Let's see, a sign. Oh, here we are. Clean barn and pet animals. And add animal food. Yeah. I don't know what added that, but... Maybe the sand cleaning chip, actually. Let produce. Add animal food. Harvest crops. Well, that'll do. I can clear the odd bit of sand around the place. If my machines were all still outside, that would be really important. I'm planting seeds I kind of want to do myself anyway. Now you can clear sand from furniture as well. There you are. And the more Rosie likes me, the more things Rosie will be able to do. So, 
There we are. Rosie can pet the animals now. Wonderful. Commissions today. What have we got? Acacia planks. Zinc titanium alloy plates. Magnets. That's a huge one for Mabel. Mira wants bloodstone cores. Oh, typical. Tomato to Zeke. He always gives Zeke what he wants. Oh no, okay. I need hand commissions in before I can do that. I also need to look at my inventory and see how full, not full it is. And put things away that don't need to be there. So... Flute's going to be a message. Spy baby poster. Now, what? Open to read. Okay. I do still want to give that Gungum co comic away. A uh, couple of relics. I'm going to put them in the relic box as completed relics. And then they can go in the museum. Uh, Duke can go in the farming thing. The monster whistles need to come with me. Mechanical parts, I've got the filtration core in there. It doesn't need to be in here right now this second. Farming again. For the potatoes. I also have a party management chip for Rosie that I didn't use. Hmm. I need to put that in, either throw that away or give it to Rosie properly. So let's have a look. Chips. Party management chip. There we are. So the ones we don't have are watering and weather forecasting. And they are uh, from the Mysterious Man. Uh, we'll grab that when he comes along. And then the watering chip that's in the shipwreck ruins. And I've somehow not picked up at any point. I don't think, anyway. Okay. I think most of what I've got I need. Um, there are things that I really need to put away in, like jewelry cabinets and things like that, but it's like I need to sort of make these things, so I'm going to have to take a bit of time rather than just a quick five minute sort. It's going to take actual time to do. Okay, so many of you may have heard that a Giggler was found by the Civil Corps. He was, in fact, the former leader of the Giggler's Larry, that was previously threatening our town. After his defeat, he lost his position in his tribe and has nowhere to go. Thus, I have decided to allow him to stay in Sandrock for the time being. As a former enemy, I've asked him to be on his best behaviour while he's in town, and he has agreed. I understand you may be sceptical, but please show him the famous Sandrock hospitality. He speaks our language, and I have arranged for him to work with Owen at the Blue Moon. Go and say hi. Oh, Larry's at the Blue Moon. Thanks for my factory. Okay, I think it's time to either go and hand in a load of commissions. Actually, I think I should do that. I need to stop taking things out of the factory box, because they will never stop getting put in there. Hey Larry! Mm. Human customer, please try some of this delicious food. It looks lovely. Holy oh, Yankman on a stick, they weren't kidding about a lizard man working here. And he even speaks our tongue. Now I've seen everything. A lot of them do. Um. <sighs> Sheila, can you help me? I'm uncomfortable with the attention. He's a sand rocker. A sand rocker, really? But didn't they used to fight against sand rock? Did this dude get captured? I've been all around, seen a lot, but this takes a biscuit. I know, this is so interesting. Thank you. This is overwhelming. I got a sweet potato pie from Larry. Oh, love you, Larry. He's so cute. Okay, Owen, I have stuff for you. You have Thank a thing you. to say to me as well. What do you have to say uh -huh. to me? Larry's not half bad in the kitchen. His superior sense of smell allows him to get the flavours just right. Unfortunately, he doesn't like most human food, so he's cursed to lead others to a treasure he cannot possess. 
Aww. So he's making all these delicious dishes and then he just doesn't even want to eat them. Uh. Too busy to share recipes. So that's like really handy that that happened just as Grace left. Hmm. I'm not worried about that big fella moving into town. You take care of him once. If he acts up, we'll do it again together. Aww. And let's see a sharpening stone today. <laughs> Thanks. You sharpen your daggers even more? I guess it takes a day or so for you to blunt the last one. I don't want to go on a play date with you at the moment. Because I've got other things to do. In fact, with you probably. But I would like to at some point, just so that we can talk. Penny, I have your guitar. Wow, you're finished already? Let me try. It sounds the same, but it's clearly a much stronger wood. It's amazing. I love it so much. Thank you. I'm going to go and prepare my song. It's the best song in the world. Just you wait. It, no, it's not. It's just a tribute. <laughs> Sorry. Um, ah, it's me with the references today. Normally it's the game with all the references, but today it is me. Let's have a look what else is going on. Uh, so there's something going on up over by the ranch. And then I've got unsure to hand a commission into. And I think that's it then. Okay. Let's go check that out and then we can maybe go and do our big mission. Oh, it said he was here. <laughs> Unsure? Oh yeah, there you are. In your beautiful hat. I'm I'm always a little bit joy in my heart when hmm. I see Unsure in his lovely hat. Howlers told us before that the Geeklers were at peace with us. Then they weren't. And now one of them is. It's confusing. Keep Thank up, you. Unsure. Keep up, boy. Right, so how are we doing for money? So close! When we've done this mission, we will definitely have enough. That is so cool. So I think there might be something going on with Daisy. This is usually where Daisy has her... Oh, Elsie's trying to learn Giggler. Um. No, no, when you say it like that, you sound like a buffoon. My jaw is aching from all the sibilance. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Take ten then. Come back when you're ready to really hiss your heart out. Hey, I didn't say I was quitting. How was that? Hey, Larry. Greetings. Ah, greetings to the spawn. Accompanied by the strong human. Ooh. You teaching Elsie how to talk to Lizardkin? I want in. I already know plenty of swear words. Hiss. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. can you get in trouble for saying bad words in the lizard language? Hmm, mm, yes, delightful. Why don't you learn to say something that wouldn't put your life in danger? Um. <laughs> Apparently. Andy, Jasmine, and Elsie. Perhaps I have chosen poorly this phrase. Mm. Nevertheless, let's try it again, shall we, humans? What does this phrase mean, anyway? Mm. It's a greeting meant to flatter the listener with a compliment about their appearance. However, spoken incorrectly, it could easily be interpreted as I shall plant a peach tree in your buttocks and light a fire under your toes till it is fully grown. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah. Ah, teach me how to say that one. <laughs> hmm? I got such totally different ideas sound so similar. It's a tonal language. Mm. Back to it, then. Huh? One of you is insulting me in perfect eagles. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were getting it wrong on purpose again. It's not me. Mm. Good, strong human. Perfect, in fact. Which leaves only one suspect. Andy. Huh? What? I said they're the same as both of you. Maybe it's your ears that got the problem. S -s -s -s. Goodness, human spawn. Cover your ear holes. Huh? What? No, I'm sure I got it that time. Here, listen. See, same as you. Practically perfect pronunciation. <sighs> Feral human, I think it's time to stop. Never say that to anyone, ever. You're worse than that law human. <laughs> just, just, I'm guessing. Um... I'm not trying to swear. Hmm. 
It's okay, Elsie. I'm sure you'll get it. Hee <laughs> hee. Kind of makes me wonder. What's your pronunciation like in all them other animal language you're always going on about? Kind of looking like we got a new animal whisperer in town, eh? Hmm? Andy, Elsie is good at talking to animals. I've seen it. She talks to wolves and meerkats and ducks and foxes and... Well, I think that's it. Ah, yeah, you know what? I reckon that's it. I just got my wires crossed a bit. You see, the intonations and whatnot of the uh, fox language are uh, making it kind of hard to get my words right. And this here lizard language. Mm. Yeah, just stop. Mm. Well, if you ever need to provoke a lizard fellow into striking the first blow, you know, for legal reasons, at least you've got the bases covered. Sorry, that base covered. That's not very nice. Yeah. Ah, shucks. All right, all right. I'm throwing in the towel for now, but you ain't seen the last of me, Larry the Lizard. See you later, alligator. S -s 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 Sandrock will rule the world. <laughs> that human not. phrase. My people find offensive, but good pronunciation on that greeting. Yes, it seems like a good stopping point. Return to your nests, human spawn. We shall continue these lessons at a later date. <laughs> human spawn. <laughs> I must say, it is pleasing to find such in understanding among your people, strong human. To learn our language, I must admit, I had not predicted such compassion. For your troubles, I will teach you a special phrase. Okay, got it. <laughs> mm. It's the ultimate insult. Reserve it for any lizards who would do you harm. Hearing such piercing words will surely shock them, opening a chance for you to attack. Good luck, strong human. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So, a few points with everybody. Wonderful. Uh, where did Andy go? I wanted to actually give Andy and Justin presents today. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go see what came out of the factory because I think it just stopped. Let's put some stuff away. I still have room in my inventory, which I do. I, I definitely do need the four pages, like 100% do. Ever since I've had like four pages, it's been a lot better. It, generally, the junk I seem to accumulate takes up about a page and a half to two pages at this stage of the game. So, Andy's already all the way up there. Crazy. There's a lot of people I need to give like gifts to and things, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the bend. Whoa. Uh, that's not the way. This is the way. Take huge amounts of damage falling off a cliff. Sounds pretty Shelab like really. I spend a lot of time in this game falling off cliffs. Probably not the best thing to do just before I uh, go into a fight though. But as usual, I do have a ton of healing, strong healing things. Although I probably, I've been going through them a bit lately. I probably should go to Fangs and just stock them up again. You're here. Ah, good to see you. Ready to roll? 46 to 48, yeah. Well, before we head in, let's assess the situation. We're gonna be facing some monsters, so make sure you're looking sharp. Huh? Nah, I wanna do this clean. No hurting animals. Elsie, we ain't gonna be able to do this without hurting anything. But we made the whistles, so as not to harm anything. No, to reduce how much stuff we were gonna harm. Not to harm anything more than we need to. I ain't saying we need to turn into maniacs, but... You can try and minimize the hurt. Of course. We ain't trying to deliberately cause pain, but we gotta know why we're here. We're here to keep them away, not kill them. Howlett said violence should always be the last option. We are the last option, else. You want those monsters to hurt more people? No, but... I love you, else, but you gotta toughen up. My pa was always finding ways to minimize damage, but he knew the deal. If you want to be like my pa, you gotta realize that. I'm sorry, Elsie, but this is the reality. If you ain't got the strength to accept it, I don't know if I trust that you got my back. I got your back. All right, then. Well, let's head out. 
Right then, let's go. Porsche Tunnel. That looks pretty cool, actually. I don't remember having all these, like, side stairs. Did I have these before? Did I just miss them? Were they, like, they're probably full of all sorts of interesting stuff, like chests and things. <laughs> Yeah, I'm under leveled by like two levels for this, so I really do need to probably, I don't know, do something to get my level up. More, more mining, more going through various things, I guess. Oh, why can't I get up there? Oh yeah, I have to go up here then, don't I? Yeah. I love a good puzzle. then. Come on Logan, come on Els. I do love the fact that you have the Porsche music coming back in with the desert hoppers because we're in the Porsche tunnel we've got Porsche music. Which I absolutely adore. It's again these little tiny references that only someone who had spent a lot of time playing Porsche would understand but you know, a lot of us have, so... Okay, those guys are done. This might be the first monster whistle, whistle location. What's a whistle? <laughs> Alright, that's the first one. Two more to go. I still feel bad about fighting these animals, though. Remember, we're doing this to keep everyone safe. If you insist. There's not many of them, and like basically after this, we won't ever have to come and clear this tunnel again. I don't know what it is lately with um and I do apologize if this is coming through a lot. I noticed it a lot in one of the last dungeons I did, but the box sounds are horrendously loud. I wonder if, um... Maybe the sound effects need to come down just a touch. But it specifically seems to be the boxes. That's a bit better. heal in a minute I think I'm like I say I'm a couple of levels under what I should be it's, it's supposed to be 46 to 48 to do this one and I am 44 at the moment so I'm two levels under what I should be for going, coming in here I'm not too worried about it though I've got like people helping me I've got loads of healing potions I've got um, range weapons and ammunition as well I'll probably take these guys on on my own. Enough. Do they have like a, a like a spitting attack? I think they do. Yeah, there's probably more chests up here then. It's like a kind of place that chests would, would hide, right? Hmm. And if you look, these are the struts I made. Aren't they massive? Huh? Oh, well, there's the chest. Okay. I'll go the other way. I knew there'd be one somewhere. Oh, I'm missing the way. Mm, gotta go down here. Up here. Um, I thought I saw a chest there. Hmm. Maybe up here? 
I could have absolutely sworn I saw a chest up there. Oh, you want to go backwards? Oh, that is sneaky. Oh, that's so super sneaky. I knew I'd seen it. I was like, where is it? I don't know where it is. But you got to go over here. And then turn backwards. Run through there and get the chest. Oh, my. That is sneaky, sneaky chest. However, that's two high-speed processors. Which is going to be wonderful for Rosie. Brilliant, brilliant little uh, present for Rosie there. There ain't enough wind in the tunnel for the whistles to work yet. Shoot. I'd hope that after installing the first two, we don't need a fan no more. Let's scare all well, the monsters Let's off. Let's keep going. I'm sorry, Els. Ooh, some more strong medicine. Nice. So if I have to take some, then maybe I'll come out even. Probably should take some because I am very low on health at the moment. I actually got a lot of hemostats, so I'm going to take a bit of that. It's just because that's a bit less uh, useful in a big fight, so it's very useful. It's more useful if I've got a lot of it to take it in between fights. When I just need a bit of a health boost top up. Keeping an eye on these, like, staircases and things because it's where they hide all of the goodies. Still very loud on the collection of the... Um, oh, hang on. I'm running towards what looks like a boss area or something. Or, or There's definitely... Uh, Definitely a new area to get into there. Let's see. What? Why is that chest chest already open? I didn't open it already, did I? Oh, yeah. You know what? I ran the wrong way, didn't I? That's why. That's why I ran back to the entrance. Well, that's about right for me, isn't it? That's about right for me, running the wrong way down a tunnel that has two different ways you could go. I could go the wrong way in a straight line. That's an impressive feat. Elsie and Logan still with me? Yeah. Okay. Just looking out again for chests. I think I bought the chest from up no, there are things up there. Okay. Okay, we're back to where we should be now. So I'm going to have a quick look up here. <laughs> Didn't see any chests from the ground. Ah, the chest is here. Yeah, I've got a full heal up ahead, which is why I didn't want to take too many of my like, nice big strong potions. I had a feeling that there might be a, a full heal before the end of this little dungeon. If we're quick enough with it as well, I might be able to do more than one day in this episode. I don't know. Oh, Logan got a little bit taken out there. Poor Logan. What have we got in here then? I've been picking up goals left, right, and centre. Ooh, some of the grand theatre pieces. I'm missing some of those. Nice. Let's have a look. Did I get the full grand theatre now? Yeah, I think we might have. We're still missing part two of Monument. Part four of the Toy Soldier. And quite a few pieces of... Oh no, we've got all the Toy Axe Soldiers, sorry. And then we're missing part three or four or something of the... No, part three of the Spear Soldier. 
So we're doing quite well. These are all the ones that only come out of like chests and relic bags and things. So they're much, much harder to find. Whereas some, a lot of these are ones that I can find. Like I can just go into the ruins at the end or when I fancy it and just go and find these things. So uh, those golfing ones and things like that, they come from... Some of them come from sand running as well. Some of the astronaut ones. I forget exactly which ones, but yeah. If you're looking to get all of the relics, that's where some of them come from. Right, I'm apparently down to like barely any health again. This might be a good time to save. I will save. Apparently I am squishy. And uh, I can't even put on that bright kitty gear yet. I am really underleveled for this. So, well, I'll see what I can do. I've got plenty of heals on me. And I've got a nice gun. Hey, dude! I'm sorry. Else! Looks like this here is the last one. Elsie doesn't really want to fight, though. Bless her. Well, I haven't seen one of these fellas in a while. Oh, nice. Better watch it. Now, don't hit him too hard. We've got this one. I swear, this guy's not actually as bad as the other snakes. chunk of my health off of me though doesn't he but he's not too he's not too bad he's, a, he's, a, he's quite squishy himself to be honest or herself and there it goes let's install the last whistle right here but first we gotta open up the last bit of the tunnel the whistles need wind to work Ah, lucky I brought my trusty pick hammer with me then. You want to do the honors? Woohoo! Awesome job! Last thing left is to install the whistle, and we're home free. Nice. Okay. Let's get this whistle installed. And there we are, into the southern Ufaula with working monster whistles. <laughs> the southern Ufaula. Huh, beautiful, ain't it? Sure is. I can almost see Portia from here. Else. It's gotta be two to three hundred leagues from here, behind another mountain range to boot. I have good eyesight. Anyway, better head on back and tell the mayor. Okay, well last time I waited a while and there was really nothing to do, so let's go. That is wonderful news. Thank you, Elsie, Builder, and Logan. And congratulations to your team as well, Heidi. The tunnel is nearing completion. Oh, it makes you think about the future. I really think this is the start of something big. We're really close now. Connecting Sandrock to Portia. The hard part is behind us. I'm gonna get even more water. That's right. The water they were hiding was just the beginning. It stabilized the city. But now we can try more ambitious plans. We still need a, a paving machine, right? You mentioned something like that before. We did, but then our new commissioner told me that he could call in a favor and get my team one himself. Oh, that's great, Commissioner Way. It was a machine we built when we were trying to build a road through the peripheries. It, it didn't work out too well for us there, 
but I'm pretty sure it should do fine making a desert road. Well, all that's left is to wait for progress on Porsche's end. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I've already contacted Mr. Musa about it. He said he'll ask Mint to come over and give us a project update. He should be here soon. Anyway, I'm really proud of you all. Cheers to us. To us. To us. Uh, for the Empire. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, Logan became my best friend out of that one. And that helped a little bit with my Andy relationship, which I am trying really hard on right now to get Andy to be my good friend. But uh, it doesn't always work out. As we play critters and he beats me a lot. I wonder if I can sell some of these pick hammers and things. Like, I've got so much stuff in my inventory that's been driving me mad and, like, probably driving you guys mad as well. So, like, I do not need this pick hammer. Let's sell that. I don't need this one. I don't. I cheese one I'm keeping. I don't need an iron one. And I know I could have given them to Mian as presents, but like, ugh, I don't want to keep them on me. It's so, so annoying. Chromium sword and shield. I could give that to Logan as a present, couldn't I? Or I could sell. Not sell. I've got loads of presents for Logan. It's cool. Bronze sword and shield. Sell those. Alloy daggers. Keeping those. Keeping the cat scratcher. Keeping the hands of light. Selling the motivational hammer. There, that's a lot better. So much better. Bright kitty helmet I still can't put on yet. Boo. But we're not far off now. We're level 44. We're getting there. And I don't know if I need to go and just do a little mining or something or... It does seem to get me levels quite fast doing mining, actually. Mining and going through all of the hazardous ruins will probably help me get my level up a little bit. It's the first time in this game I've ever had to worry about that, though. And again, my commissions as well. Ooh! Oh, let's do it! Let's do it! We have enough for the penultimate yard upgrade. Well, that's quite the... Um, wow. Look at all the space I've got now, guys. Look at that. Right then. What are we going to do with all that space? Water depleted. Please refill supplies. Okay. Have you been sending my meerkats off to get water? Because that's what you should have been doing. I bet you haven't though. Nope. And you've been taking Jew off my Super Jew collector, but I probably need more of him. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do then... I've got a little bit of money left over, and with that money, I will go and buy some water to put in your little, in your little helper chest. That might be something I'll have to do more, more of is buy water in, or just make more dew collectors. Because obviously, uh, with sending out the animals automatically, things aren't as tightly controlled. Okay. I may as well just stick it straight into the into the thing. Uh, I need to go get me uh, fiber mesh, don't I, as well. So I'll hand in all, all of my commissions, and if I've got a little bit of time left at the end, then I'll go get the fiber mesh to upgrade the water tank. I know I could put them in Rosie's box, but it's just as much, just as easy to put it into the water tank directly. Um, you would 
saying you didn't have water. But there's loads of water in the water tank. What are you on about? I guess I'll put the rest into your helper box then. Maybe that was Rosie realising I've used all the water out of my my box. Yeah. Okay. Would you like a high speed processor? Would you like a would you like a present? Would you like a present? Here you go. I'll have a high high speed processor for you. <laughs> that evil little laugh, that little evil AI chuckle. It's very cute. So Rosie is now sitting at my buddy, but nearly my friend. That's not too bad at all. And Wei, it seems like, yeah, like loads of different gemstones are really good for Wei as well. So, need to go and see him as well. So, what, what are we doing with our missions? Uh, limestones and magnets. I haven't even started the magnets, have I? No. Oh. I'll get off the horse, apparently. Right, oh yeah. Haven't even started the magnets, so let's get 14 magnets made. Let's hope I have the stuff that I need for that. Magnet. Add to queue. 14. Apparently I can make 14 magnets. Yes, I can. And it will take 20 minutes. So I could either split that up into more queues or just wait. To be honest, I'm happy just waiting, to be honest, probably, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so silver ingots for Rocky, we could do titanium alloy plate for Rocky, we could do acacia wood planks for Hugo, uh, bloodstone cores, tomatoes for Zeke, we want to do that, definitely. Um, I'll take that. I think that's not too hard to make. And acacia wood planks. Oh no, can't do those yet. Right. That's fine. Let's put together a relic as well. What, what relics have we got? An orchid vase. Let's put an orchid vase together. Also, I wonder whether I could just go straight to the museum and put a load of relics together there. I mean, I finished all of my research stuff now, so it's really only using data disks to buy plants at this point. Maybe that's the thing I could do. the moisture farm. Again, I think it's going to be a one day episode again. <laughs> we are doing so much in each episode at this point. It mm. is kind of crazy. All my plant buddies are up in Highwind or Maidy. But who knows? Maybe I'll make some new friends in Portia when they visit. Plant friends. Who, who does plants in Portia? I don't know, because they had the farm... The farm people. There was an old granny, and then there was Emily. Maybe Emily. And then they had scientists and things, but they didn't really have like botanists, as I remember. Mm. Yeah, I remember that guy. He sent his goons to start fires on the moisture farm. Not a fan. I'll give him a second chance, but I'll keep an eye on him. Oh yeah, <laughs> you had to fight, didn't you? Oh. That's not ideal. Let's give Z also while we're while we're here. And we can. I'll give you a mountain rose. Thanks. I know Zeke likes those, and Zeke is probably one of the more behind people. But still still best friend level. So we'll just keep going with the commissions and giving him a mountain rose every time we hand a commission in, and hopefully that should just be enough to pop him up to full. Um, we've still got two hearts to do on Logan and Jasmine. Katori's still way behind. In fact, Katori, if we went and did a whole load of donating to the museum, Katori would not be so behind. So let's get in there and do some donating, I think. I think now would be a good time just to put, put relics together using data disks to just speed things up as well. 
I've got a lot of relics. I'm trying to put things together on my relic machine, but it's taking forever. And I have been mining a lot lately, so let's see. So we've got uh, oh, limestone bricks are done. Nice. So stone painting is definitely one we haven't donated before. Toy scepter soldier. A lot of ones that we could sell or put into our house. And another equatorial mount, no. Well, I recently did an equatorial mount. I think that might be what's on my on my relic restorer at the moment. So the spaceship model DNA model, the dancing statue, the sun worship worship statue, I will do those. I don't know if we've handed those in yet. The Jeweled egg, the golden candlestick, and the beast head chalice, and the bull's head. I know we've done all of those already, so I'll just do those over time and either sell them, use them as gifts, etc, etc. Okay, so let's donate. Let's not. Let's donate. A toy scepter soldier. Let's donate. The grand theatre. Let's donate the stone painting. Is that all I can donate at the moment? I think it is. Oh, still, that's quite nice. I donated some new stuff. Museum rewards. Once I get to 40, I've done 33. I get a four leaf clover necklace. 50, I get an elegant small table. Well, that'd be quite nice. 5,000 goals for doing 60. A projector lamp that projects a beautiful image onto the wall. Coltrane 45. Rare musket. Is it a mu no, it's not a musket. And the musician with a troubled past. So is it like a saxophone or something? Or a, a horn? An antique billboard. Uh, 500 game centre tokens. But there's a lot of things that you can donate, like guns and and weapons and all sorts of things like that. I mean, I sold a load of my weapons and things, but I could make new ones just to pop in here. If you look here, we've got like a load of small things, like my beast head chalice. I've got my whatever that is, my techno cup, my techno table. Loads of little things. But not many big things. Oh, I love that they've got seating here now for this one. I love that film. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. But I don't understand why there's so much space for small items and so little space for medium items. I think there's a lot of people finding that at the moment. So that's another one for small stuff. Those are all large exhibits. Like, there's not that much large stuff. Those ones up there should probably be for mediums. My dancing statues are up there. My ship's wheel is up there. My back to front... <laughs> back to front eagle that never goes the right way around, no matter what I do. It's there. But no, that's only three new things for the museum. I thought I'd have more than that, but it's fine. Let's go talk to Larry. Hi. Mm-hmm. Ah, strong human. How could I have been so wrong about you humans? Our peace will last for a thousand years. Aw, oh, he's so cute. All right, let's go grab the limestone and hand it in. It's nice to get a few new relics into the museum, though. But I'm going to have to do a little rearrangement of my house, aren't I, as well? Shall we do that now? Right, the first thing I need to make sure is that my mail is clear, which it is. Yep, okay. I'll go and grab my limestone bricks. And various other things. Okay, 
So all I really want to do at the moment is um, I've obviously got all this space behind the house. So I want to move the entire house backwards. So if I could group the whole house and the ceiling and everything, that would be kind of ideal. I wonder if I can. Doesn't look like it. Oh well, we'll move it a piece at a time then, I guess. Any rooms left unconnected will be destroyed. Well, let's cancel that then. Uh, maybe I need to try harder to get things to move all at once. Assemble group, move all. Okay, that was so much easier than it would have been any other way. Did I get much room behind the factory? I didn't really. I probably still want to move those guys into the corner there. And the chickens can move back here. And there's probably room even maybe for the rabbits either here or next to them, depending on how big the rabbits are. And then we've just got to move these bits and bobs over next to the house. That was all I wanted to do just for now. But that will give us room for potentially a house extension. Uh, later, it will give us room for potentially a around and hope for the best. Bit of decorating maybe even. A yak boy mirror and my toy axe soldier. I clearly... <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezy sneezy. Um, I clearly couldn't donate the toy axe soldier I'm guessing. Not sure. I was just in the museum, so maybe I, maybe I could have. I don't think I could have, though. I checked all my medium, large, and small exhi exhibits. Okay, did we... Oh, loads of stuff moved. Oh, my entire wardrobe and bedroom and everything. Oh, gee. Oh, this is going to take some fixing. Why did they move? I moved the whole house back. In one go, why did those things get destroyed? No reason at all for that. I mean, the bedroom was the one part I tried to move, so maybe. Oh, gee, it's the stairs and doors. All of the stairs and doors have messed up. Ugh. Ugh. Why? Oh, why? Why would you do this? Why would you put a stairs there? Get rid of it now! Come on, let me... Alright, maybe I need to do it from downstairs. Destroy! Also... Destroy. Mate, I think that's the only thing that really got messed up there. So, right, okay, so in the living room I need to fix the... There was one painting that came down from the living room, which is the Masterpiece Knight. Needs to be replaced. Then in the kitchen... We need to replace 
I knew this. I, I knew this would happen probably when I moved everything. Uh, we need to replace the spice rack. That is maybe a little high up for a spice rack. It is nice to have them like higher up and lower down, but maybe not quite that high. No, let's just do that, I think. Um. Got the rustic worktop that went in under the cabinet there. That boy mirror, I don't know where I put that. Probably the rustic tea table is what I was using for like a coffee table in here. And then any chairs that go along with it, maybe I put a stool there or something, I don't know. I don't really like those stools, actually, at all. And a basic coffee table, maybe I had that in here as like a bench or something. I'm not 100% sure, but seems right. I don't know why, but I feel like that guy would go good in the kitchen. His little friend with him. <laughs> Maybe his little friend could go in the other corner, actually. Just trying to find little little spots for all my cool relics. That just doesn't work, does it? I'm thinking it might have worked here. No, don't like it putting down anything I don't like. Spy baby movie poster. No, looks tacky. Right, so I think that's my kitchen fixed, at least. Is there anything I wanted to do in here? I think I do want to put down somewhere the Yak Boy mirror. I don't know where it would fit though. Oh, maybe here actually. I'll do, I think. I feel like I need something big to go in the middle here. But maybe even just a sofa here would be good. I don't know. Um, also, bedroom then. Actually, I probably don't want to be out here. I probably just want to be in the bedroom, don't I? So bedroom, and then I've got so many clothes that came out the bedroom is so annoying because I had that whole that whole wardrobe set in there and so now the wardrobe all the stuff I put in there got taken back out again which is really annoying I'm a little terracotta soldier in there they're like the little Christmas guys, aren't they? The little Christmas nutcracker guys. Alright, let's see if I can put things in here then. Um, I think we had a whole seaside thing going on, didn't we? And a bit of a civil war thing going on. A bit of a camo thing going on and then I got my bright kitty helmet but bright kitty stuff I'm keeping on me because that's gonna be my next like upgrade anyway once I get to level 45 I think that's everything sorted out with the old I'm wondering whether to do anything at all with the greenhouse and workshop because I've only been given a tiny bit of space behind I kind of feel like I could end up doing more damage than good with that, so maybe I'll wait until the very final. My little cactus guy. 
wait until the very final um, upgrade because I think there is now only one more upgrade to do. So basically, oh. Oh, no, it's here. Okay. So I'm guessing it probably won't go backwards very much. It'll maybe go out this way more next time. And I need 262,500 goals to get to level 10, which I think is the final expansion. I'm pretty sure. Right then, so we've got quite a lot of room now, which is nice. Uh, so if I do decide I want to move things about and stuff, then I could definitely do that. It is quite late in the day though, so I think it's probably now time for me to go to bed. Took me ages to just rearrange my house, but that was always going to happen when I upgraded. We all knew this. So now I've also got on the uh, home assessment board. Ah, even with a level 9 home, everything is maxed out except for luck. Probably because of all the different um, terracotta soldiers and things like that. All the little relics I've been putting down because I just had them have actually been adding to my stats, which is fantastic. The Sun Worship statue gave like 161 points. So there's, that also means that like if I don't want simple chairs in there, I don't have to have them. Which is quite nice. So, things for luck. Masterpiece... No, that's health. Picture of Lucian. Lucian Castle photo. Oh, all those Lucian things gave me luck. The Desert Rose photo gave me some luck. Knotted ornaments give luck. So I might put a few of those around the place. Because I actually only need a little bit more luck. I need another 20... 33 luck. But I could probably find stuff that will give me luck around the place. We just need to, like I say, decorate with a few more knot ornaments and things like that. It will be fine. Ah, this place doesn't have a door anymore, apparently. Maybe I should just quickly fix that before we go to bed and say goodbye for the, for the day. better. I, I like my rooms to have doors and to be sort of individual. I could fit more like counters under under here if I wanted to. Make it way more kitcheny, but I think it's pretty kitcheny as it is. I don't think I did a bad job of making that look like a kitchen. Despite the lack of stove. Okay, I think time to go to bed now and say goodbye to you all. So we have upgraded the yard, moved the house, re-put all the stuff in in the house, put the monster whistles in the tunnel. Handed in a bunch of commissions, made Logan our best friend, uh, and given various presents to everybody else. So, good day overall, I think. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.